catching the Kansas college rapist. That's what law enforcement agencies are calling one man who they believe is responsible for 14 attacks, all near the University of Kansas or Kansas State campuses. These attacks go back more than 17 years. 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed shows us the new details revealed today. Today we learned from police the most recent attack happened in 2015 here in Manhattan, just right off the K-State campus. Now Riley County and Lawrence police are asking students to be on the lookout. The early morning hours on this date in 2015, an unknown, an unknown assailant entered a residence in the 1400 block of Watson Place in Manhattan. A masked intruder who threatened a Kansas State student with a gun before he attempted to rape her. For Riley County and Lawrence Police, the scenario sounded eerily familiar. In 2015, he was described as a white male, approximately 5'10 and heavier set. Most, notable, most noticeably around the stomach and thighs. The description matches that of a man linked to the rapes of eight other Kansas State students and five at KU from 2000 to 2008. The Kansas College Rapist MO is always the same, entering off-campus apartments and homes between 2 and 4.30 a.m. to attack students. The means by which the suspect made entry was sometimes unknown. Police believe the man spent time watching his victims and learning their schedules. College, you have class, you go to work the same time every day. Nicole Green is a graduate student at K-State. Today's announcement put her on edge. You take precautions, but you know, you always are concerned, you know, what if I'm being targeted and I don't even know it. Riley County and Lawrence Police are urging students to remain alert, but the departments are also hoping today's press conference will lead other potential victims to come forward. We want to hear from you. We want to help you. Reporting in Manhattan, Cat Reed, 41 Action News. Police set up this new website for tips in an effort to catch the Kansas College rapist. We're also told an anonymous donor gave the Riley County Police Department $10,000 for a reward for anyone with information that leads to an arrest in this case.